Where did the inspiration for relationship rules come from? Did it come from a successful relationship and you said that this is the protocol or was it a, a multitude of um, relationships? Kind of talk to me about this template, relationship rules, how to win at love, leadership and, and leveraging your purpose. Why now, right, in, in, a, in a pandemic, in a, in a vastly divided nation, uh, that we're, you know, dealing with right now with a, a lot of emotions at our absolute high, right? Why now? Where did the inspiration come from? Yeah, you know, the people factor is the main thing. Relationships really are make the world go round or bring it to a screeching halt. Uh, I mean, we can look at red states, blue states. We can look from the White House all the way down to your house and see uh, that that relationships really are the glue, uh, the, the, the gorilla glue, if you will, that's, that's gonna keep people together. But it, it can also be a divisive aspect that uh, disconnects. And uh, I think as you saw in, the, in this pandemic, oftentimes uh, COVID-19 revealed something to us that was very, very interesting. And I think it begged the question of, can you touch somebody without touching somebody? Uh, can you be there without being there? Can you literally touch somebody's heart without using your hands? Uh, I, I developed a relationship academy focused on those three areas, love, leadership, leveraging your purpose, helping people make the, the, the trajectory turn, helping people make uh, move into a place of transformation and identity and finding the, their particular niche. What is their purpose? Who are they at the end of the day? Uh, indiscriminate of anybody else finding completion in themselves, but also in their relationship with God before they seek a relationship with somebody else. And I think uh, the pandemic uh, really shook a lot of things up because as I said before, a lot of it was transactional. Can you take me to Dubai? Can you buy me a bag and some shoes and some heels? Um, can you do all these things for me? But, but none of that really exposes the gift of really who that other individual is. Can relationships be accountable? And so I really uh, began to look at the whole aspect of what it takes to build healthy relationships, but also purposeful partnerships. Uh, I, I have um, a friend of mine, a couple who's been married about 40 years. They're actually celebrating a, uh, their 40th anniversary uh, in a couple of weeks and got an invitation to them. Um, and they, I, I asked them a question, I said, how, how have you been able to, su to sustain 40 years of marriage? Mm. Um, and they said to me, it's, it's difficult. It had some ups and downs. However, it was always easier for me to forgive my friend because they built a relationship that first commenced with a friendship. And so many times we want to jump the broom very quickly. We want to, you know, move to dating and courting but not in a place of a friendship. Uh, they said for me to keep the, the marriage together, it was gonna take a lot of forgiveness. And uh, I, I think looking at all of those aspects, uh, the, the good, the bad, the ugly, whoever you are in your singleness is gonna lead to either a marital blessing or a marital mess. Marriage is a ministry, marriage is a merger, marriage is a marathon, but marriage is also a mirror. It'll reveal the beauty but also expose the ugly. Uh, a friend of mine was was making a joke the other day. He said, you know, uh, there's three rings. You you got the engagement ring, uh, you got the, the, um, the marriage ring, but then you also got suffering. <laughs> and a lot of times we think relationships and marriage is all about dancing through daisies and uh, just giving roses to each other. But oftentimes those roses have thorns attached to them. Do you have somebody who literally is a purpose partner who, who can understand the whole aspect of, of vows? And a lot of people taking the, the vow out of for better or for worse. We want the better, but are you able to deal with the worse of what it looks like? And so uh, in these times that it, it seems to be getting worse and worse with all these variants and, and the variegated aspects of life. Now I think we have to look at some some real timeless truths and look at the whole aspect of how dating is is different, how uh, couples are grappling with it. It's not like my grandparents who were married for 63 years. There was no social media then. Right. Right. Could that possibly be the reason the relationships have sustained 
with our predecessors is because they didn't have so much exposure mm. you know some of those things that we we deal with and we grapple with and in the book one specific aspect is that love is not enough you know uh people love each other you can still love your ex and and love them from a distance right but you need somebody to stand in purpose with i don't even like the term fall in love fall sounds like a trap i need somebody to stand in love with mm. uh through the thick through the thin uh and and recognize that our purpose pushes us and empowers us to live